you want to be a champion, you cannot have any kind of an outside negative force coming in and affect you. Okay, let's say before a contest, if I get emotionally involved with a girl, that can have a negative effect on my mind and therefore destroy my workout. So therefore I have to cut my emotions off and be kind of cold in a way when before competition. And so that's what you do then with the rest of the things. If somebody steals my car right outside of my, my door right now, I don't care. You know, I can be bothered with that. The only thing I would do is have my secretary call the insurance agency and they laugh about it. You know, because I cannot be bothered with it. So I trained myself for that, to be totally cold and not have the things go into my mind. And uh, it was in a way a sad story when my father died because my mother called me on the phone and she said, uh, you know, your dad died. And this was exactly two months before a contest. She says, do you come home to the funeral? I said, no, it's too late. You know, he's dead, there's nothing to be done. And um, I'm sorry, you know, I can't come, you know. And I didn't explain to her really the reasons why. You know, I had other excuses to her because how do you explain a mother who, uh, whose uh, husband died, you know, your trip. I didn't bother with it. And uh, that actually caused one of the greatest conflicts with, uh, uh, with my girlfriend, because she just looked at me and she said, it doesn't bother you. I mean, you know, your father died and I, I did never talk about it again. The finals of the Mr. Olympia contest. First to be judged is the under 200 pound class. category from the United States of America, Ed Corney! And the winner of the 1975 Mr. Olympia, under 200 pounds, from the United States of America, via Italy, Franco Colombo!